Hi, how are you? Billy, is it? Yes, Billy. Nice to meet you, Billy. Pleasure, pleasure. Um, my name is Selena Franklin. I am, okay. have a seat, sorry. Thanks, no, 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 sorry. I am a medical social <clears throat> worker. Here at this agency, we focus on people like you who have current illnesses or conditions and we provide support and resources as needed. Um, okay. So right before we get started, I do want to let you know that we do have a confidentiality policy. So everything that you say in this room is confidential unless, of course, you plan on harming yourself or harming anyone else. I will have to report that. Okay. So, Billy, what brings you in today? Yeah, um, I found out uh, recently I've been two months pregnant. Um, and I'm not really getting the support I wish I was getting. Okay. Um, for my family and uh, I, I feel like a burden for the people that are in my life hmm. um, so I don't know I, I just I just needed somebody kind of talk to okay okay is this your first pregnancy yeah yeah it would be um, it would be my first yeah okay have you been to the doctor since you found out that you were pregnant yes yes so um, I was uh, you know I, I was feeling crampy um, so uh, yeah, I recently went to the doctor, and that's when I found out I was I have been um, two months pregnant. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, are you excited about having a baby? Um, I feel like it's kind of uh, yes and no. Mm -hmm. I'd say um, I, I I'm glad that I have I have a life I could take care of in in the future, but also I'm just really scared. Um. I, I don't, is the, a lot of my friends, um, when they've had kids, their, their significant others or their parents or anybody else really has been excited for them as well. Mm -hmm. um, and my family isn't. Okay, um, can you tell me a little bit about why you feel like they don't feel as supportive? Yeah, um, my mother and father, um, uh, they're Catholic. Um, and I've always been uh, uh, Catholic as well. I, I've, I've done the normal Catholic things, gone to religion. Um, that's how me and my, my sister grew up. Um, and I got pregnant, and I don't know who the father is, and I'm not. Uh, I, I'm not immediately uh, 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 falling on my knees and, and praying about it. I'm kind of just dealing with it like life, and I don't think they understand that. And I think they hate me for it. Oh, you think they hate you for it? Okay. Um, do yeah. you have any other support systems outside of your mom and dad? Yeah. Um, so I have my I have my older sister. Like I said, I've been living with her. Um, but I, I just feel like a burden. I just feel like a burden. Okay. So can you elaborate on why you feel like a burden? I mean, I, I could give you a lot of reasons why I feel like a burden. Um, I mean, she's always been the better sister, smarter, uh, more successful, um, always had her life together. And I've always kind of just been uh, the young kid, mommy and daddy's, you know, like, uh, I don't want to say favorite, but uh, more, she's more like the favorite, honestly. But I was always kind of the baby of the group, the person who never did anything wrong. And she was always kind of the one who had everything together. And now I'm not the baby, I'm disappointed. And she's still the successful older sister. And I, I, I'm super grateful, I love her, but I just, I don't know, I just don't know how to feel. Okay, so you feel like you're being overshadowed by your older sister? Yeah. In a way? Yeah, definitely, I'd okay. say so. Okay, do you currently stay with your sister? Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Do. Does she have any children? Um, no, no, she has no children. Okay, so it's just you and her in the house? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Do you enjoy where you stay? I mean, it's nice. I mean, it's nicer than anything I could ever afford. Um, so yeah, I guess, I'd, I'd say so. I mean, it's, it's embarrassing, but uh, I guess. Why do you feel like it's embarrassing? Well, I mean, uh, I, I haven't worked for it. I mean, it's a beautiful apartment in Manhattan. Um, and, you know, I get to... I get to lounge around, and my sister, she didn't put that burden on me, but, you know, I, I could tell, I, I, I could tell, like, like, the way she looks at me, like, a little, like, different, um, when I'm just trying to get my life together, um, 
yeah, I just, I kind of just feel icky um, because it's something I can never afford. Okay. Has she ever, like, said that, like, you're a burden or? No. No, okay. she's never said that. I mean, yeah, I, I, I would be out of there in a second. Okay, so what is kind of like y'all relationship? Like, are y'all really close? Y'all do things together? Um, she's really busy. Um, she's a lawyer, um, a successful one mm -hmm. um, in the city. And she never met his time. When we were younger, we used to hang out all the time. Mm -hmm. um, she kind of showed me the ropes, um, uh, like what movies to like, for example. And uh, I guess I miss that. Um, but I don't, with me being a burden, I don't know how to tell her, hey, make time for me. I mean, she's already paying for everything. She's already nice enough to keep me under like her roof. She's not judging me for um, wanting to have this child. Um, and I don't want to lose that. So I, I, I don't want, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's going to all crash and burn eventually. <clears throat> Um, so would you like to get back to how you guys were as a child, like really close and tight? Yeah, I, I'd say so, definitely. Um, but I don't know how reasonable that is. Okay, so do you think that maybe one day you can like sit down and like have a conversation about how you feel? <laughs> I, I guess, yeah. I mean, that'd be nice. Okay, so that's good. Um, going back to your housing situation, um, is this where you want to be when you have a baby? Yeah, okay. yeah, I'd say so. I, I have nowhere else. Okay, would you like to have your own home? I would. I, I would. I, I feel like it would um, solve this me feeling like a burden. Mm -hmm but I don't know how realistic that is with me being pregnant. Okay, do you currently work at all? Um, uh, I, I, I work at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you would consider that a job. Nobody else does. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I'm employed. Okay, well, I wanted to let you know that McDonald's is a job, no matter where you work. Thank you. As long as you're working, it is a job, so don't let anyone tell you differently. Thank you. My mom and dad, they wouldn't agree with you, but. Um, so is McDonald's like the ideal place for you while you're pregnant or do you prefer to work in a different like the area? Mm. Yeah, I, I think I always loved art mm -hmm. um, and I got commissioned for some of my stuff, um, but my my mom and dad weren't really supportive of it. Um, this was before everything happened. And I kind of just, um, I, 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 I stopped um, doing it. Um, I was at school at the time um, and they kind of pressured me to um, keep going to community college um, in the city. And I couldn't do it. It wasn't for me. I knew it wasn't for me. Um, and yeah, my backup plan was this McDonald's. So, okay. What um, what was your major at the community college? Sure, sure. So it was um, arts and sciences. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And did you enjoy those classes at the community college? Yeah, yeah. I took um, I took a lot of uh, a lot of art courses, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, some history as well because I've always had a fascination with history. Um. But, uh, my my parents, and that's why I kind of stopped going, they really wanted me to uh, uh, go into science, um, and they pressured me to do that, and uh, yeah, I, I, I stopped cold turkey. I just couldn't do it. I was getting atrocious grades. They wouldn't let me go back to arts and sciences. Hmm. Yeah. Do you want to elaborate on why um, your grades weren't as good as you weren't going to be? I just hated science. I've, I've never been good at it. I, yeah, I've always just sucked at it. I never thought I was capable of it, and I don't want to be. I, I just always hated it, but they kind of forced me to do it. Okay, so if you could go back to school, what would you major in? Uh, I would just do. I mean, honestly, uh, art. art. I, I would. I wouldn't go to community college. I'd just go to art school. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Um, is that something that you're looking to do while you're pregnant or probably after? <sighs> I'd say after. After? Okay. After. I don't know. I, there's just so much going on right now. I understand that. So going back um, to your work, what would be like your ideal like work environment while you're pregnant? Stability. Okay. Can you kind of describe like the work environment at McDonald's? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's stable, um, greasy, uh, uh, long hours. Um, I, I do like I do like the people there. Okay. Um, me and my me and my work buddies are friends. The manager's nice. It's just I think it's just I've always kind of been very prideful, mm -hmm. and I, I always like even when I'm having a good time there. It's always in the back of my mind, like my mom and dad, like just like you're a failure. Okay, so it seemed like everything that you kind of do, like your mom and dad, is just always in the back of your head. Like this is like you kind of gotta get their pr approval. Like mm. okay, yeah, it's so. Okay. Um. Would you say working at McDonald's is kind of hard for your pregnancy, or do you think this would be a great job for you? Uh, I think. Uh, think about it more. I think it'll be okay. I, like I said, I have, I have friends there, so, and the manager's friendly, so uh, I could probably talk to them about maybe cutting down the hours, maybe. Okay. All right. I want to um, take a turn. Um, I kind of want to know a little bit about your hobbies and interests. Sure, sure. Um, well, like I kind of said, I love, or I did love um, painting. Um, I used to run a lot, too. I still try, but I, I've put in a little bit of weight. Um, and and I've, I've obviously not been feeling the best because of the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of stopped that as well. Um, but current hobbies... Uh, I don't really know. I, I guess just watching Netflix. Watching Netflix. I yeah. understand that. So, you did mention that you love art, but then you just said that you used to like to paint. Can you elaborate on why you used to like it? Sure. Um, I, I think before my parents got into my head mm -hmm. about it not being, me not being good enough, um, I ended up being a, 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 I guess a stable job or something to pursue. I, yeah, I used to like it, but now I don't as much. I, I mean, I do, I do still like it. It's just, it's hard to, it's hard to not feel like a failure doing it now. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, um, it's looking like that we're kind of running short on time, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a small summary. So it seemed like you want to have the baby, but it seems like your parents kind of like take over like what you truly want to do because you did mention art and how you do want to go back to school and how you do want to like a better support system so mm -hmm. in our next meeting i want to go ahead and kind of discuss more about your parents um and more of like your support system and also to see kind of like we can probably get you back into your interests as well um does that sound okay yeah Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and schedule this next meeting. Um, same time next week work? Yeah, that, I, that, that works. All right, well, it's nice to meet you. Was this meeting okay today? Yeah, yeah, it was great. Okay, thank you. that's great. It. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Yes, thank Bailey. You. Thank you, I appreciate it.